I get to visit with Katie Drosheen. She and her Firewater Canyon Gilding tied for the win in the first go of our Derby in the 2D. Katie, this is such a fun win for you and you've had this gilding for a couple years. Tell me how you came to be his jockey. Yeah, so we bought him a couple years back from the Pink Buckle sale and Sue Smith, she trained in Faturi Huck and I started running him about uh, two years ago and she's been helping me a lot with him. So he's been really fun and he's um, a little, his riding style is um, it's fun for me because it's nothing um, too similar that I've ridden before. So he's been really fun to run. What are some of the things that he's taught you? Um, to be quiet with my hands. He's like, uh, not sensitive so much, but like he, you get him up into the hole and then you kind of just um, set him and let him do the work. And um, for me, I can like handle one a little too much. And so um, I've been working with Sue a lot about just getting um, to have softer hands and riding more quiet. So he's helped me, like, riding Huck has helped me with, like, all my other horses. So he's been, like, really awesome for me. What does it mean to have Sue as a mentor and a friend? And, you know, what else has she taught you about barrel racing and about life? Um, she's awesome. She's, uh, she's been, like, the greatest person ever. She's, like, my mentor or, like, my second mom even. And um, her relationship um, just means the world to me. And, um, yeah, she's just helped me with, like, all of my horses. A lot of the horses I, I run, she's trained. And, um, yeah, I'm just really grateful to have Sue in my life and she's pretty awesome. It's going to be pretty exciting to watch her run down the alley at the Thomas and Mac, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be so awesome. I'm really excited for her. She deserves it more than anybody I know, so yeah. It's awesome. Do you guys think you'll head out to Vegas to cheer her on? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be there. I'll be her loudest cheerleader for sure. Oh, I love that. Um, I want to get to know you a little bit better. What does life look like for you outside of the arena? Um, I just am finishing out school at Colorado State University and I college rodeoed a bit um, and then I'm hoping just to uh, finish out school and then um, kind of just go from there. Hopefully I'll, I'll get to rodeo a little bit more next year with like less of a school load. So, One of the things that we're digging into this year with our win interviews is the idea of growth. It takes a lot of time and effort and focus on development to be successful in this sport and I would love to know what are you doing to grow as a person and a barrel racer? Um, that's a great question. Um, Probably like mainly with barrel racing is like my riding and like I said like just being quieter and um, like riding one up into the hole and like breathing more so in my runs like before my runs because I get I tend to get a little bit nervous and stuff so just like kind of quieting my mind and working on my like mental game for um, any type of barrel racing is um, really big for me and then um, I guess growth outside the arena just like uh, being like as mentally fit and like physically fit as I can be is always a goal and um, just try to just better myself every day so it takes a lot of time and commitment but the efforts are paying off congratulations on your win and uh, we wish you the best of luck this week thank you so much